Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is a beautiful spring day here in New York. The birds are taken to the sky. Bunnies are taken to the field. Fox got taken to the cleaners. Because hey. yesterday, Fox News settled Dominion's defamation lawsuit for $787.5 million. This is a huge hit to Fox's bottom line, although it's not clear if insurance will cover some of Fox's liability. Of course, Fox has to have liability insurance to ensure their ability to lie. <laughs> although, although, <laughs> although, I don't know who would insure them. Maybe frauders. <laughs> we are frauders insuring Fox was dum dum dum. This massive settlement was the number one story on every single cable news network except one. <laughs> Take a guess. <laughs> In fact, when the settlement was reached, Fox News couldn't even bring themselves to tell their viewers how much money they forked over to Dominion for lying. The closest they came was a statement from Fox News host and taxidermied corpse of Howie Kurtz. <laughs> Howie Kurtz. Howard, tell them how much Dominion won. A Dominion lawyer gave reporters a dollar figure for the segment, but I have not been able to independently confirm that. <laughs> Two hours after the settlement was announced, he can't confirm how much Fox News paid. If only this Fox News anchor had some source at Fox News. <laughs> this might not even be the end of the cash party for Dominion here. They're also suing conservative networks OANN and Newsmax, conspiracy lawyer Sidney Powell, and my pillow CEO Mike Lindell for $1.3 billion. I don't think Lindell has that kind of cash on hand. He's gonna have to change his name and flee to Mexico to start Mipio. <laughs> Hola. My name is Miguel Pio. This is my bride, Maria Memory Foam. <laughs> Burrito Taco Extra Guac. <laughs> Dominion. <laughs> also has a defamation case against Rudy Giuliani, also for $1.3 billion. They... That's a lot, man. They are suing Rudy for everything he's got, which at this point, I believe, is a stolen CVS shopping cart full of empty Merlot bottles and a jar full of spare teeth. <laughs> Fox News isn't even off the hook yet, either. You see, they're also being sued for all their election lies for $2.7 billion by a voting machine company called Smartmatic, and we already know Fox is afraid of this one. For proof, look at former Fox host and wax sculpture of William Shatner left next to an open flame, <laughs> Lou Dobbs. Lou Dobbs is named as a defendant in this one, and just one day after the Smartmatic suit was filed, Fox Business canceled Lou Dobbs' show, which was a huge disappointment for his audience, a cage full of parakeets in the day room. <laughs> but Fox is trying to make some money back here because they're also a plaintiff in an election lawsuit on behalf of Fox CEO Lachlan Murdoch, seen here asking Rupert, what happened to my new stepmommy? <laughs> Lachlan is suing an Australian website for implying he was a conspirator in the January 6th insurrection. The actual name of that website? Crikey News. <laughs> Now, if they lose, if Crikey loses, it'll be, it'll be good for its main competitor, Didgery News. <laughs> Tonight's top story. <laughs> All that and deadly spiders in your shower. <laughs> so. We don't broadcast down there, do we? We don't. It's all in good fun. So Fox News is out a whole lot of money, but they're not telling their viewers any of that, and they don't have to, because this settlement does not force them to own up to the damage they did to our country or apologize on their network. So we feel the same way. So we've decided to make them apologize on our network.
Jim? Before we go tonight, we want to say we're sorry to Dominion and to the American people. We here at Fox News lied to you about the 2020 election. Repeatedly and consistently, we admit that we are guilty of amplifying those voices. Insane people like this guy. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. A guy like this is given a platform because we want to make sure when you're watching Fox News, it will make you dumber. My original, my slippers are back in stock. Please take us off television before we allow these crooks to turn our country into dumps, big, massive dumps. <laughs> We've done our part now. While Fox News is coughing up cash for spreading lies, the guy they were lying for is busy scamming cash out of the people they were lying to. Because yesterday, he made this announcement. Hello again. This is your favorite president, Donald Trump, with some news you are going to really love. A few months ago, we almost broke the internet when I announced my Trump digital trading cards. Well, I've got some fantastic news for you. My Trump digital trading cards are back with a bang. His digital trading cards are back with a bang. <laughs> That's, that is less natural than the mashup we just did for the apology. <laughs> These cards are uh, NFTs, which digital finance experts define as a scam we all stopped falling for 18 months ago. <laughs> and the first batch that came out last year featured the ex-president as wearing race car pajamas as a bad boy astronaut with robo-belt and making stocks go up with the inspiring hat message, Dow. <laughs> the new batch of cards has some real avant-garde work, like him stealing the Liberty Bell... <laughs> This one where he's with a lion that is on fire, that is pawing at the earth, which is also floating in the cloudy sky of earth in front of the beautiful constellation 45. Rrr. <laughs> that one, of course, brought to you by Kyle, who took some mushrooms and started playing around with his AI art bot. This is Kyle. <laughs> mushrooms? I don't know. I can show you. But that's not all. Here he is reenacting that famous moment when Washington looked into the dressing rooms of the Miss Teen USA pageant. <laughs> Each of these beautiful, beautiful collectible embarrassments could be yours for only $99 if they weren't already sold out. Honestly, you know what? I'm happy for all those MAGA seniors who were able to purchase these things after getting their grandkids on the phone to help them do a computer. As for my favorite, I can't decide between screaming while playing guitar and screaming while playing guitar on a Harley. <laughs> it's going to be hard to top that on the next batch. I'm thinking playing guitar on a motorcycle, on a boat, <laughs> hanging from a helicopter, piloted by a lava gorilla in space. <laughs> now, $90, $98. You can have it for $98. Back down on Earth, there's some news from Iowa, and it's not good, because yesterday their state senate passed a bill loosening child labor laws. Yeah! Kids have had it too easy for too long. <laughs> they're so spoiled these days with their iPhones and their PS5s, and they're all ten of their fingers. <laughs> if you haven't heard about this bill, it's because it was passed Tuesday morning at 4.52 a.m. Never a great sign. Only things that anyone should be doing at 4.52 a.m. is partying because you're young or peeing because you're not. <laughs> now, if... Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Swollen prostate. Swollen <laughs> prostate. <laughs> if passed by the House, this bill will allow 14-year-olds to work six-hour night shifts. That's going to lead to some brand-new homework excuses. I'm sorry, Mrs. Larson, my diorama of Treasure Island got caught in the hog mangler. Bill also allows 15-year-olds to work on assembly lines, moving items up to 50 pounds, and older teens get the jobs that are even more fun because this bill allows 16- and 17-year-olds to serve alcohol. <laughs> Come on. How are you supposed to pour your heart out to a 16-year-old bartender? <laughs> oh, had a fight with the missus, I hear ya. I had a big argument with Tyler today over who would win, an orc thief or a half-elf magic user. <laughs> Anyway, can I have your cocktail umbrella? I need to redo my diorama of Treasure Island. <laughs> Got caught in the hog mangler. <laughs> Today's special is mangled hog. <laughs> in uh, Across the Pond news, 
We're just a few weeks away from the coronation of King Charles, seen here learning the ingredients of blood pudding. <laughs> Charles will officially be crowned king on May 6th, is a sentence I am still somehow saying in 2023. And we're starting to get details about the celebration. Buckingham Palace recently announced the official recipe of the weekend is coronation quiche, along with cooking instructions. And I'm told we have a copy of Charles's quiche recipe. Step one, tell your valet you want quiche. <laughs> Step two, quiche appears. <laughs> now, not all of the preparations are going as smoothly as that. The palace has reportedly had a very hard time finding any musicians to perform. They've been turned down by Harry Styles, Elton John, the Spice Girls, Adele, and Ed Sheeran. Your Highness, hear me out. Just hire a DJ. <laughs> My cousin Ricky's a lot of fun. He's got an iPod and a connection to Somali, okay? <laughs> if there's a Bluetooth hookup at Westminster, you and Camilla are gonna be doing the chicken dance in the aisles. <laughs> but they have finally found someone to sing for old King Chucky because we now know that Katy Perry and Lionel Richie will perform at King Charles's coronation concert. Ah, yes those famous icons of British music, <laughs> Katy Perry and Lionel Richie. You know their songs, Hello. And I snogged the last, and it was all right, innit? We got a great show for you tonight.